The 2702 three-channel cordless falls monitor has an easy-to-read display with six LED indicators. It is a versatile tool for a caregiver in either a facility or home care environment. The three-channel monitors work directly with Cura One mats, pads, buttons, and sensors. The monitor can be programmed to pair with up to three devices that can be displayed simultaneously. When the monitor receives an alarm signal, it will illuminate and sound an alarm. The monitor has five small LEDs, as well as a large LED above the reset button. These LEDs quickly inform the carer about the situation at hand. There are three indicators available for when a sensor has been activated. There is also an indicator to inform you of low battery and an indicator to notify you that the monitor has lost the signal of a pad or mat. The average battery lifetime of a three-channel monitor is around three to six months, but is dependent on usage. When the battery becomes low, the monitor will beep intermittently, and the low battery indicator will illuminate. The monitor will continue to beep until the batteries have been replaced. The batteries can be replaced by loosening the central screw on the back of the unit and sliding the cover up to access the battery compartment. There is a good chance you may be using a pad or mat with your three-channel monitor. Whilst these pads and mats don't use batteries themselves, the transmitters they use do. When the transmitter inside your pad or mat nears the end of its battery life, it will struggle to stay connected to your monitor. This will cause the monitor to illuminate the signal lost indicator, and it means it is time for the transmitter to be replaced. Alternatively, this signal may mean that you have moved the monitor too far away for it to reach your device, and it is out of range. Our transmitter's expected battery life is around 12 months of daily use. We recommend replacing your transmitter roughly once a year. When you are replacing your transmitter, you will need to clear it from your monitor's memory in order to clear the signal lost LED. You will also need to pair your new transmitter to the monitor. We will explain these processes in greater detail later in the video. To get started using your monitor, you will need to pair a transmitting device to it. Anytime you would like to pair a device to your monitor, you will need to put the monitor into programming mode. First, you will need to turn your monitor on via the on-off switch on the left-hand side of the unit. Once on, you can enter programming mode by pressing and holding the black program button on the back right-hand side of the monitor until the monitor beeps and the main LED on the front lights up. When you are pairing a device with your monitor in programming mode, the first available memory slot in the monitor will be filled and the sensor number it is associated with will flash accompanied by a beep. The monitor will automatically exit programming mode once a device has been paired. If you are planning on pairing more than one device, then you will need to follow the previously outlined steps to put the monitor back into programming mode. We will start by explaining how to connect all call buttons, switches, and sensors. This will cover most of the Cura One devices that don't include a transmitter for a pad or a mat. With your monitor in programming mode, trigger the call button or activate your switch or sensor to pair that device to your monitor. The first available sensor slot will be filled and the sensor number that it is associated with will illuminate and beep briefly to indicate successful pairing. As previously mentioned, doing this will cause your monitor to automatically exit programming mode. The process for pairing pads and mats is slightly different. 
Most of our pads and mats require a transmitter to send the alarm signal to your monitor. The transmitter connects via a clip attached to the pad or mat and rests in a pouch, away from view and exposure. To begin pairing, ensure the transmitter is clipped in and initially switched off. Then, put your monitor into programming mode. From here, all you need to do to connect the transmitter to your monitor is flick the transmitter switch from off to on. Your monitor will beep and the corresponding sensor LED will illuminate to indicate successful pairing. The monitor will automatically exit programming mode once paired. There is one final step to complete with transmitters in order to keep them connected to your monitor. Anytime you connect a transmitter to your monitor, or if the transmitter is turned off for any reason, you will need to disable a feature in the transmitter called storage mode. We send our transmitters to you with a setting called storage mode enabled. This feature will cause the transmitter to become disabled even though the switch is on. This is to prevent the battery from being drained if the transmitter is accidentally left on before its intended use. To disable storage mode, simply apply 15 seconds of pressure on the pad or mat after the pairing process is complete. After 15 seconds, remove the pressure from the pad or mat. This will disable storage mode and your setup is now ready for use. When you are first setting up your monitor, it is recommended to clear the monitor's memory to ensure there are no devices pre-filled into the monitor's channels. You can tell if any of the monitor's channels are filled by looking at the SEN1, SEN2, and SEN3 LEDs whilst the monitor is in programming mode. If any of them are illuminated, then that channel is filled with a device. You can either clear the monitor's full memory, or you can just clear a single channel if desired. First, make sure you are in programming mode. Then, if you would like to clear all the channels, press and hold the reset button for roughly 5 seconds. The memory will be cleared once the monitor beeps, and the SENS LEDs go out. To clear an individual channel, Push the volume button instead of the reset button, whilst in programming mode, to select the channel you want. The LED you currently have selected, will flash to indicate which channel you are going to clear. When ready, press and hold the volume button until the monitor beeps and the LED turns off. The last step from here is to exit programming mode. Press the program button on the back of the monitor to exit programming mode. The monitor will beep three times to confirm this. With your devices paired to your monitor, you can now place the equipment where you would like them to operate. Your monitor has the option to work with a mounting bracket accessory that is available separately. This allows you to keep your monitor mounted on a wall so that there is a fixed location to keep your monitor. You can also use the clip on the back of the monitor to hang the device from a carer's belt. This allows them to carry the monitor around as they go. When an alarm is sounding from your monitor, you can adjust the volume level using the VOL button. There are three different volume levels to choose from. To clear an active alarm, simply press the reset button in the middle of the monitor. The alarm will keep sounding, along with illuminated LEDs, until the reset button is pushed. Your setup is now fully ready for use. For any further programming or operational queries, Please refer to the product user manual or contact us at Cura1 directly.